everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to talk about chisels. I'm going to show you my three favorite chisels and how to maintain them and sharpen them. First is my slick. This is my slick. It's a two and a half inch slick. Uh, this is pretty much used for uh, cleaning tenons and you know cleaning flat surfaces. The, the, the reason it's a slick is that you're able to kind of go over your work and not have this piece interfere with anything. As for with most chisels, they have a they have a cusp here where they'll, they'll hit. Once you get to a certain point, they'll they'll hit. So pretty much that's what a slick is. It's able to just go over top of the whole work surface. So that's a slick. Uh, this is my two inch mortising chisel. This is used basically for mortising, cleaning mortises and also cleaning tenons and stuff. But basically it's a big two inch chisel mortiser. This is my inch and a half chisel mortiser. Again, very similar to the two inch chisel, ch chisel mortiser, but it's just smaller and it's uh, I use this for more inch and a half pockets and so forth so so that's it those are my three chisels okay so today we're going to touch on some basics on just how to keep your chisel sharp and basically a maintain so um, so just right off the bat a really important factor with your chisel is to make sure that the back is flat you want this as flat as can be um, and you want to pretty much see your reflection in that okay another important element is to make sure that this angle is correct because depending on species of wood and what you're using softer hardwoods you're going to want to change the angle on 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 your chisel so pretty much from that point on um, these are the tools or these are the instruments that you need to uh, to, to sharpen your chisel um, you're going to want to guide Okay, this is a, a sharpening guide and you can get all kinds of fancy guides out there. Um, this one's not fancy at all. It's called a Somax number 22. I got it from Lee Valley. Um, that's, you're going to need one of those to get a good, good edge. And by the way, there's a million ways of sharpening chisels and there's a lot of fancy tools out there for sharpening uh, chisels. But this is a basic way. I've been, you know, this is the way I've been doing it. This is the way I was shown and it's super simple. So we're, I'm just going to show you that today. Okay, uh, and what you're going to need also is a piece of glass here. Um, what you want is a quarter inch thick glass, three feet by one foot, and that way it will allow you to put three different pieces of uh, sandpaper on there. Uh, that's what we use. Uh, from there you want, a, you want an aggressive, medium, and fine. Okay, that's pretty much what we have. I use emery cloth. For these two, this is a this is a medium aggressiveness. This is a fine, and then this is a 400, 400 grit uh, finishing sandpaper. So that's going to be what I do my finishing on here. So, and then at the very end, I have my honing pad right here. What this is is an old uh, leather strap from a barber shop, and uh, I don't know if you ever seen the barber shops the way they they hone their the, their old, the old shavers there, that's what this is. And, uh, and then what goes on here is a 6,000 um, grit compound, which comes in like this. It's like a soft uh, kind of a paste that you, you put on top of here. And this is, this is honing. This is keeping everything really, really, really sharp. This is to get stuff really sharp. So we'll be using that at the end. So first things first. Um, there's a little guide on here that will explain to you the different degrees um, on, you know, on, on how, how, how it projects, the projection of the chisel and, and the degrees that basically will, that will give you. So the degree I like with dealing with Douglas fir is, uh, is around, a 20, around 27, 28 degrees. And so what that kind of maps out to is an inch and a half off of this face. So I'll measure an inch and a half off here roughly to get to there and then uh, tighten this up. So from there we got a projection here so that's going to give me my exact angle that I want to, to, to achieve. So the first thing I do is I hit the heavy, the heavier grit. So what I do is I keep on looking to make sure that it's uh, there we 
we go. So I'm checking the back of it. Run your hand over the back, you'll feel a burr. When you feel that little burr, then you know that you're, you're diving into it. And then as soon as you have that burr going, then I, I, I switch to a finer to kind of get that burr, work that burr down a little bit. So you can see that. I still feel that burr along here, so I'm going to keep on working away on that burr. So I know I'm down pretty good. I'm going to my fine now. Really getting there fine. Again, this doesn't take a lot of time. Sometimes I'll go side to side just to kind of... Alright, we're starting to get it. Going to get nice and sharp here. So, what I'm doing now is I've I've been working this angle, but one thing that's important is you always got to flip your chisel over and then make sure the back is getting a little bit of attention as well. And on that point, one thing that will happen with your chisel over time is that when you're working your chisel, you're always working the corners of it. And what will happen is that you'll slowly start to fold over. You'll slowly start to get a little bit of a, a wear on these edges here. And when that starts happening, that's not good because you want this bottom as flat as possible because you want, you want these angles, when they meet this flat to that angle, you want that to be precise. So you always gotta make sure you work that bottom face down. You gotta always bring that face down and make sure that it's, it's, uh, it's getting worked down. So anyhow, I'm working this burr off. So working this burr is basically going to be back and forth for a while. Because what I'm doing is I'm working each edge and that's just pretty much getting that burr down to almost nothing. Now I can barely feel that burr anymore. Burr is pretty much gone. So when you're at this point, You've worked through all the grits. You're, uh, you feel that the burr is pretty much gone. That's when you bring in the belt. And you just do a final few passes with your belt here. When you're dealing with leather and you're, you're pushing your blade onto the leather, don't, don't apply too much force because it will round over your, your edge that you've worked so hard to kind of define. So you just basically want to rub that burr off. Just about there. I never rub the bottom of this on the on the belt. Just the, just the angle. You don't want to, again, this will round over the bottom and you don't want to do that. Feels pretty sharp to me. My final test is I always just try to take some hair off here. And uh, watch yourself when you're doing this, but if you can do this, then you know you're, uh, you're good to go. Shave the hair right off. That is a sharp, sharp blade right now. That's it. So, I usually tune my chisel up. If I'm about to do a lot of mortises for the day or something like that, I'll spend two, three minutes, five minutes, just to hone up the chisels all the time. Keep everything sharp all the time. If you, the longer you let them go, the harder they are to bring back. So if you keep on maintaining them, keeping them sharp, then you're gonna always have a sharp blade and you won't have to you know, do any hard maintenance, which is mean like file them down and get the machines out and have to really kind of take a lot off. So uh, I, hope, uh, I hope this video was handy for keeping your chisels nice and sharp. Um, give it a shot, go for it. Thanks for a lot for watching. Bye for now.